Hey guys, what's going on? Larry Mutz. Quick video. Haven't done one in a while. I'm kind of throwing this together, so bear with me. I know I repeat myself. Um, this is a shellacked um, 5F1 um, champ. I scratched both the box, and I recently, uh, I originally wrapped it in Tolex. I didn't like it, so then I wrapped it in. This is the original uh, tweed fabric, which I got from Mojo Tone. Mojo tone, mojo tone, mojo tone, whatever. This is the real deal, real fabric. It's not uh, any Tolex or anything like that. Uh, they were really good. Um, this was the smaller of the amount. I think I got like 30. I had the paper somewhere. Um, I paid like 25 bucks, and it was enough to cover the cabinet, and I have some spares. This was a fuck up. And I actually have another spare for a rear cover if I wanted. This was just a test piece I was trying for different colors basically why I did the video. Um, I really wanted this nice dark, uh, almost brown. I, I couldn't get the brown like I saw on some of them, but I, I didn't want to really do brown, but I, I was the blonde was too light. I have a, uh, a light uh, Princeton I did, so you can see how this is. I knocked down most of the shiny, um, the shiny gloss with uh, regular red Scotch-Brite, you know. I didn't go crazy with it, I knocked it down. I've seen some other videos. Originally, I, I actually took all these down with um, a file a little bit. You know, I kind of relicked it a little. Uh, you can see how I got the uh, relic uh, um, metal or the hardware. I didn't, I didn't relic the uh, faceplate screws. I did. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm, cut, I'm getting myself sidetracked. I just wanted to show you guys uh, the wax that I had used was um, this is Wellamart. You could get it on Amazon. This one I got on eBay. Um, I think I paid twenty five dollars for the eight ounces, and then I picked. I had another one. I had the blonde also. That was from Amazon. This one here, and they're also um, a de-wax uh, shellac. This is I got this a couple of years ago from uh, Amazon. But this is the new package, which is cool. Um, Wellamart, has, Wellamart has its own website. The back will give you a whole cut down on how to mix. Uh, do your mixes. I'm doing the two ounces to eight ounces. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a two-pound cut. It's very simple. I mean, you just use one of these jars, and the mason jar itself has the, um, this is the wrong side. I should have zoomed out with this. It has an eight-ounce mark, and I fill, I measure the flake. I fill it with two ounces of flake that I do with a scale, and then I just throw the, it's only a little bit, uh, a little bit above what actually flake is in there. Some guys just pour the flake in, and they just pour the uh, denatured alcohol uh, you know, a little bit either equal to it or a little bit higher. Equal to it's going to come out kind of thick and syrupy. You might want to go a little bit higher than that. Uh, like I said, it's a quick video of some, uh, this champ I threw together about a year ago. I have a, a, a Jensen, uh, not Jensen, I have a, um, a Princeton uh, Ted Weber kit with a Ted Weber 10 inch speaker in it. Really nice. I just changed the um, rectifier it came with. It came with a, a a W3Y, which is the um, uh, brass rectifier, and I wanted to get more of a tube sound out of it, so I went with the uh, 3YJ, uh, the th I'm sorry, the 5Y3S. Um, I had a, um, a Russian um, harmonic, what is it, electric uh, harmonics, um, uh, 5Y3 in it, but I noticed the voltages were a little bit higher. So I use this uh, 5Y3S. It brought everything down. On the other one I have, um, I'm like where I should be. On this one, I'm a little high, but actually um, I can't, I don't know all the electrical uh, parts, even though I did this, put this together. But off the 6V6 going to the um, output transformer, um, I'm at 350 volts. So I'm satisfied with that. So I'm not, I'm not doing anything, any kind of changes right now. But um, the reason I like the shellac, I know I'm going a little off to four minutes in already. The reason I like the shellac is because I shellac this two coats um, when I got home from work about 4.30, 5 o'clock. Uh, it's 7.30 now. So I got two coats on this, um, sanded it, well, knocked it down with the, um, with the Scotch-Brite, and I'm putting it back together. I'll be playing this thing in about a half an hour or so. But uh, let me zoom out a little bit. Here we go. But I just wanted to give you a quick uh, rundown. This is um, the orange. I did see a guy, he it was a nice brownish color, 
which I thought this would be because it's so damn dark. Um, he said he used a lemon. I couldn't find a lemon de-wax for the price that I wanted to pay. Like I said, I paid like 20 something, $24 for this, 8 ounces, de-waxed. Uh, this came from eBay. Um, it, it is on Amazon as well. This one, is a, it doesn't say that it is de-waxed or not. Uh, I believe it is waxed. I really, I think when I was, when they say when you mix it, if it's cloudy, that it's, uh, that it's not de-waxed. Um, I noticed when I was using it, I don't know if it was just because it was I had the fan on me, but the rim of the, this isn't the stuff, this is the actual real blonde, the de-waxed. But the rim up in here, you know, I was getting like a little bit of a white texture. So I'm assuming that was the wax. I don't know. But this I picked up also, uh, this was a, uh, a, um, a light blonde, which is pretty cool. I kind of mixed this. I kind of, I kind of mixed a, mi a mix mash of a couple of different things, experimenting to see what color I wanted. Uh, I wanted to go over it real quick because originally, you can see how it came out, right, this color. Um, originally, when I laid it out, it looked like a brownish. You know, this was on um, the brownish color on a bare um, tweed. Because when you first go to apply to the tweed, um, it's going to sink into the material. You'll, have, you'll see it staining on the back. So I did another trial piece over here. You can see the color difference. You see how much more um, brown it was. So if you want to play it safe, um, if you have some clear shellac, Maybe you want to give it a coat of clear shellac to, to absorb into the original material and then hit it with the orange, which this is here. This is the orange uh, orange flake. And, uh, you know, maybe you won't have any issues. That's how I did it. I originally had a couple of coats of the clear blonde. Uh, well, the blonde on here, which is kind of clear. You have to put a lot of coats on it to start seeing any darkening. And then I started messing around with my other amp. I actually used some amber. Then I did an amber, amber blonde and orange mix. That darkened it up, and I just said, you know what, fuck it. I, str I went with the straight orange, so that's what you see here. But this is over uh, a, 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 a coat or two of the light blonde, which is almost clear. So I don't want to go on too much more with my video, but uh, this is the 5 y This is a, a, a Champ uh, 5F1. Um, I took the caps. I came with, it came with the mod caps in it. I took the mod caps out and I tried to go with the stock, but I did notice um, I had a voltage uh, increase going with these stock uh, type of, um, so I was trying to get the original sound out of it. And you can see here, I went with the, you know, original style caps uh, that are in there other than the mod. The, the ones I got the kit from, uh, I think it's the tube store or... He sells kits. He's in Florida, but he's on eBay. And I, I got him. The guy's really cool. Got the, the kits are fairly reasonable. So, uh, like I said, I scratch built this kit. So I think I only paid. I think I'm into it for like maybe two fifty, three hundred with the speaker. I should have bought the hundred dollar speaker, but I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to fit the Alenco. I'm really tight on room here because this is not a wide. Uh, it's not a wide uh, bottom, like the. Uh, this is more like a narrow panel. This is a regular Home Depot, seven and a, I think it was eight inch, which is seven and something inches pine right here. This is what I made it out of. This is the uh, select point, what does it say? It says three quarter by, yeah, seven and a quarter by, by eight. I guess it was eight feet, an eight foot board. So $7 piece of wood, and I made it. I actually finger jointed it too with a, um, I kind of think, I finger jointed it. I don't know if you could get it in there. You can see a little bit of it. I finger jointed it with, uh, I just used a, uh, an actual um, uh, a miter saw and I made up a sled and I, I made it like that. I mean, if you have all the ways of doing it, uh, you can, but it worked out pretty well. And uh, originally I had different, um, I had this all opened up on the top and I wanted to make it look more like the champ. So I actually put in uh, two pieces um, to make it look more like a, an original champ. So. Um, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll try and do some other videos. I know I've been slacking. I also did a, a red almost uh, to try and get to make the wood look old. I want to put a tag in here. I want to put one of those plates. Um, but I want to I want to manipulate it. I want to I want to get on uh, like um, 
a word or something. I want to basically, you know, make it somewhat fender with the tubes and stuff, but I want to add in on the description, you know, uh, name and my name, the day I built it and shit like that. I just like doing stupid shit like that. I have something inside here hand wired by me, I think. Yeah, and it was just January 20 of uh, 22. It's just almost three years old, this amp. Like I said, originally I did it in a blonde finish, which I might have did a video on. A blonde finish, which I used acrylic. And then I Tolexed it, and then I finally went the real deal, in, uh, and I wrapped it with the tweed. To actually be honest with you, the tweed was easier to, to cut lines uh, than, it, than, the, uh, than the Tolex. The Tolex wasn't as clean as this one. It really came out, you know, tight. And uh, there is a video of a guy wrapping it. He shows you how to cut the line straight across, and it worked. It worked perfect. So, uh, so that's it for tonight, guys. So I'm ten minutes in. So have a good night, and like I said, I'll try and post some other videos.